Terminus has not always been Terminus, at least by name. For most of its existence, this world went by the name of Nistirok, and was ruled by an order of dragonkind known as the Rainborn. At the time prior to the arrival of the Sacred Six races, the Rainborn and all dragonkind submitted to the one dragon king, Rocknothamos. It is important to note that the term Sacred Six speaks to more than simply six races, yet so formative were the events centered around the nations chiefly targeted by the Revenant, Six, all told, that the term became a common title to address the group of new arrivals, in any sum. There are certainly more than that number, now even twice or thrice as many, with perhaps more yet to come. Rachnothamos was, or rather is, a beast of such mythic size and strength that even he was finally able to lead the dragons of air, named the Rivalrine, to utterly defeat their rivals beneath the sea, the Sol Cromain. Yet in the wake of this unprecedented victory, the then dragon king, Rachsolfinsire, mourned the death of his brother and ruler of the Sol Cromain rather than immediately moving to name his son as heir. The son was enraged at both the dishonoring slight of his father as well as his empathy for the foe he had so narrowly defeated. The memory of his dead companions boiled over in Rachnothamos, and in a terrifying moment he usurped his ancient father and killed him. In the span of one day, both ageless leaders of dragonkind were violently deposed on land and sea. Thus began the reign of Rachnilthamos, thousands of years before the arrival of the Sacred Six. Why is still a mystery, but some time shortly before the first era of collisions, as they are often called, the Rainborn left their lands of sovereignty, or at least appeared to. In turn, all of Dragonkind similarly deferred their territories, roosts, and dwellings, down to even the common spawn. This is verified by credible native peoples such as the Tholin of Etholis, and the elven and giants of what is now King's Reach. The Tholan began a new calendar to correspond with this strange new behavior. The Ithosbrun Highland, abbreviated as IH. It is certain they have not left the planet entirely, however. In fact, a persistent, fanatically believed myth is that the dragons will reap a great reward one day far in the future. Ask when the alleged date will arrive and the myth finds no shelter in things actually known. Yet it has abided for centuries and is at least remarked on by the Tholin. There is a more credible legend that centers around the time shortly before the first collisions. It speaks to some manner of deep mystical agreement that was struck by Rachnothamos and another power of unknown origin. As a part of that agreement, Avozul was rechristened Terminus. As significant as it is poorly understood, the fairest treatment of this agreement, henceforth called the Dragon Accord, can be found in the letters between the human Narian Castigu and the elf Caelian Greyborn. Alas, only three letters appear to have survived to this day, though there is reason to hope more shall surface. 
When the dwarves of Oldasa first arrived in the year of 7IH, the last of the dragon kind withdrew to peculiar obscurity. Most often to places of extreme difficulty for mortals to reach. Often it seems to enter a type of dead hibernation for centuries at a time. After the dwarves, there came the elves of Siolan in 9IH. Then thirdly, the ogres of Gorok in 12IH. While the dwarves did hold annual meetings with the elves, the trio of nations kept mostly to themselves. In fact, after the ogres lost their expansion-obsessed ruler, Rothok the Black Moon King, to something like madness in 23IH, the Age of Seclusion was officially begun. <laughs>